Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. This video was not planned, however, I got an opportunity. And you know, if opportunity rings, bing, you have to take the receiver, pick up the receiver. So, yesterday I got a visit yeah, and I've received this here. Yeah. Somebody was at the attic. And if this somebody is a theatic, there's usually something coming up which is quite old. Huh? So I received this, a horn. Huh? I received this, a different horn. I received, I received this, a third horn. Yeah? So I have three horns now, which are operated by pressurized air, pneumatics. Yeah? And I also got this here. This here. This is a little compressor, okay? It's a little compressor. This whole set yeah, was planned to be part in a car, yeah? as a horn in a car. Yeah? So this compressor is working with 12 volt, yeah? typical voltage in a car, in a car system. Uh, once you press the horn button on your steering wheel, the compressor switched on and this made quite a lot of noise. Okay, this was very popular in the 70s. Uh, so, yeah, 60s, 70s, and so on. Very popular thing, yeah. Uh, I tried it yesterday. Yeah? So, you see, there are plus and minus. Ah, these are the electrical connections. And I've used here my lab power source. There is minus, there is plus, and the only thing I've adjusted it to 12 volt, yeah? and the only thing I get out is not very satisfying, let's say. Yeah? It's not very satisfying. Uh, it sounds like this. And if I close it, This is for sure not planned as this. Yeah? So I assume due the decades somewhere on the on the roof, yeah, on the attic. This is somehow I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. I simply don't know what this is. Yeah? I identified here this should be the the uh, opening where the intake, yeah? and this here is the pressure side obviously. Yeah? Here is a little little filling thing. Yeah? There is written oil. I have already poured in oil. Did not change too much. Yeah? So I'm going to open this now. And I thought, hey, if I'm opening this, I will let you watch. Yeah? Because I think it's a good idea to get an impression how a compressor, even a small one, is working. So let's see what is in there. Yeah? So I will go into open this now. Uh, moving. I'm already pretty eager to know what is inside there, which type of compressor we are going to find there. If we can even identify, it makes quite a lot of noise. So I'm, yeah, we'll see. Yeah? Oh, well, you know, pneumatics and noise, this is always... Uh-huh, okay, so there is oil, uh-huh, here we see, here is the intake, underneath this, uh, there is the intake. <laughs> you know what this is? This is the air filter, <laughs> this is the air filter, this... You see, there is the intake. This is the intake hole. Huh? This is the air filter. It can be so simple, right? Put the air filter inside. Huh? This is probably the casing and then... Aha! Look at that! What type of compressor is this? Huh? What type of compressor? What have we learned about this compressor? Well, let's clean this a little bit. What have we learned about this compressor? 
So this is a rotary vane compressor, rotary vane compressor, let's see, this is moving. Yes, it is. You see, there are the vanes. They are also moving, quite nice. Here is here's the intake, the intake, I'm not sure if you see this, the intake is, the, the hole of the intake is here. See this? There is the hole of the intake. So here it will suck in air, then it will turn further. Uh, this is going to get out. Uh, it will turn further. And then, you see, then we have this, and the exhaust point is there. Here is another hole uh, here at this position. So we will simply shift all those. All those air here out out compress it here because you know it's eccentrically yeah compress it and push it out here and here suck in the next one yeah you see this ah this sticks a little bit ah maybe this is the issue maybe this is the issue those sliding veins here huh? In my picture, or in the picture from Wikipedia we have shown you, there was the little springs which moved this you know, to the outside. Here there seems to be no spring inside. Seems to be no spring inside. But look at the construction. Look at this. Somebody found the possibility to get rid of the spring, because the spring, of course, is some, something which is... I can even take it out can even take it out. Look at that. Okay. Nice. Nice. So this is this is this vein and this is just just sliding inside this. Okay? Just sliding there. And why is it sliding out? Look at the construction. Here there is more. Huh? Here is less. So the centrifugal forces will move it in that direction. So the centrifugal forces will simply hold this, because this is rotating quite fast then. The centrifugal forces will hold this to the outside. And so it is sealing here. I guess it's not sealing very well. But well enough. At least 40-50 years ago to blow the horns. Okay, let's get this out. Let's simply try to clean this. Clean this whole stuff. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well, yeah, baby. The joy of an engineer, of a mechanical engineer, is the smell of oil and metal. We somehow remove it as well. But still looking quite nice, I must say. And look at this. This is now in there really long. Simply try to clean this stuff here. This is some, simply some cleaner, some, this is isopropanol alcohol. Uh, I have it from the 3D printer. I just get to rid of the old oil. So, should do the trick. Yeah. Degrease something, degrease it. Yeah. This here also. Also. I will 
das hier auch so. The big benefit of this isopropanol alcohol is that it will clean. Yeah. Ah. It will clean and get rid, we get rid of it because it's just vaporizing. Ah, that's making me dizzy. No, oh, it's good ventilated here. Here's, here's a window. So I have proper ventilation. Let's see how this is turning. Let's see if this is working now better without. I'm not sure if I should really do this. Ooh, it fell out. Ooh, also good. So it can, it, we can get it out. Mm -hmm. What is this? We don't know. Ah, okay. We can get it out. Okay, so this means we can even, uh, then I will unclamp this again. Luckily, we can now clean it pretty well. So now it should be, there should simply be no, no difficulties at all. Let's see if this is now working. If I just have to less power, but you know, I already operate this in bridged mode. This, this voltage source, this power source. So it should deliver six amps, six amps and 12. So this would be 60 watts or 72 watts. Aha, now it's working. Now it's only taking 1.7 ampere yeah, at 12, so the motor seems to be fine. Motor seems to be fine. Good. So let's simply try to clean this also a little bit better. New sheet. Yeah, clean it simply. Get rid of old old sticky oil and fill in nice fresh oil. Poo, how to put this together? Now I should remember. Ah, uh -huh. it's easy. Luckily for me, no, I knew, of course, I always knew. No, you know, this was the top. Huh? And you see, we can spin it here. And there, this little, this little part here is just that everything is moving together. Okay, and let's put it in again. Good. But before, maybe I should have, should have oiled it a little bit. This is the way it should get in. No, it's just sticked in there. I like it. I like it. No. I like easy constructions. Uh -huh. Okay. This one, put it in here. Okay, ah, this now feels smooth. This feels much smoother. I hope this is not just wishy thinking. Put it here as well. Turn it. Much smoother. Close the lid. One last look to our nice rotary vein. Compressor. it it's anyway it can only 
this is holding this in place it seems so I just have to get the place the correct way okay I already knew why I put this this on my desk. Let's close it now. We'll see if this changed something or not. I hope, I indeed hope. I want to hear the horn. The horn blowing. I'm pretty sure this is illegal now. Because those things were massively loud. Looks as good as new, I would say. Plus, nice. Plug it in. Still not perfect. I only have then six volts any more because you call the current limitation is kicking in so there's the current limitation which is holding back the possibility ah, i just tried just tried plug it here let's see what's happening <laughs> which one the little one let's see if some noise is coming out Bad. Without this, it works probably. Feet moped, huh? It's like a chainsaw. <laughs> okay. Ah. Maybe I have to lubricate it a little bit better and clean it a little bit better. So this was yesterday. However, it really bothered me that this is not working. So I decided yesterday in the evening I'm going to dismantle this whole stuff. Tear it down and see if I can still find something else to clean. Well, the result is this. Look at that. So I really did now everything. <laughs> And I found out it's a DC motor. Of course, it's a DC motor yeah, because it's running with 12 volt DC. Yeah, you see, there are permanent magnets, so it's a permanent excited DC motor. You can beautiful look at that. Yeah, you can see the the commutator. Yeah, you can see, really see how this is. It's a nice DC machine. By the way, if you want to know how a DC machine is working, there is a video about this. It's in German, yeah, but you can watch it. And now I cleaned everything, yeah? cleaned everything, and I really try now to put this thing together, and I hope it's working better now. Yeah? But right now it's everything is clean and so on, and it really looks good, really looks good and, and nice. Yeah? So I will start to build this now.
Let's try it. This is working. 1.7 amps. I'm not sure if this is okay. 1.8. Let's see. Let's see if I also mount the pump. Huh? See what is happening then. Again, it seems to work better. And again, not perfect. If this is now failing, I'm giving up. Probably it simply needs this amount of power. Hmm. So let's see. Here. Yeah. yeah. Plus. Minus plug in. The same. Yeah, okay. Ah, we learned something. Yeah. We have seen the DC motor, we have seen the rotary vane compressor and we have seen that 6 amps is not enough to drive this. Yeah? So we have seen 6 amps and 12 ampere, so 72 watts, two less. <sighs> Sad. Yeah? Sometimes that's what life is. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.